Hey, what's going on Tesla friends? In this video, I want to take you through the brand new version of the mobile Tesla mobile app. It's version 3.0. And if you're familiar with the previous version, you'll be able to tell right off the bat that this is a whole new user interface. It looks completely different. It's much cleaner, much more modern looking. Uh, I like the direction that they're going with the design aspect of this app. Let's let's go through and, and talk through some of the uh, some of the parts of the application. I'll also highlight some of the new things that Tesla added. Now, I will say right off the bat, I was hoping for more new features, but hopefully that's planned for future iterations of version three. So top left, I'm gonna tap on the gear. You've got a few things here. You can refer friends, and uh, if you tap that, uh, it's gonna open up a, a page here where it tells you you can give people a thousand dollar credit towards a new Tesla. Cool, huh? Um, by the way, I'll go ahead and put my referral link in in the notes of this this video if you'd like to take advantage of that. When you tap the invite more friends button, it opens up your email and allows you to send an email to that friend. Moving down the list, uh, notifications would be anything that, that happens with the car. The alarm goes off. We'll go ahead and tap on it. Uh, alarm goes off. Um, you can also set it so that it notifies you when, let's go ahead and tap that. I don't know why that got deselected. Uh, when when you can receive alerts when charging starts, when it's in, interrupted or complete, as well as some other things like uh, when there's a new software update, uh, when summon has started, when summon is complete or failed. All right. So let's go out of there. At the top, you'll see the name of the car. Mine happens to be Black Knight. You'll see the range that's remaining on the car and whether it's in park mode or driving. You'll see a cool little graphic. Now that's something that uh, they carried over from the old version of the application. And then you've got some, some quick buttons here for climate control. Over on the left, it's the it's the icon with the, 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 the fan blade with the line crossed to it currently. The climate control is not on. Um, but if you tap that, oh, of course it's gonna tell me I don't have enough uh, uh, sufficient charge. Um, and uh, you've also got the using Touch ID to enable driving, which is which is a brand new feature of the app. I'm really happy about that one. Um, although I do want to add a word of caution here. If you use that without your key fob near you, you get into the car and drive somewhere, make sure that wherever you're going has internet connection because if you can't access your app, you can't get into your car and drive it. Uh, this, this actually happened um, recently to a Tesla owner. The icon on the right, which is the lock icon, will tell you if the car is locked or unlocked. Uh, climate control, this will give you some more detailed um, uh, options. Uh, when you turn on the climate control, you can also control the temperature. And it also tells you what the, what the interior temperature is currently. Controls, you'll be able to vent the roof, lock and unlock the doors, flash the lights, honk the horn, and again, uh, start the car using Touch ID. Now I'm on an iPhone. Um, some Android devices, I believe, have Touch ID, but that's not across the board. And then, and then lastly, on this screen, you have valet mode. So if you drop your car off at a hotel and uh, valet takes it, and you want to ensure that they don't uh, take your car joyriding, turning valet mode on will limit the um, energy usage as well as the speed limit of that car. And that can be enabled through the app. It can also be enabled from the touch screen on the car. All right, so charging is going to, of course, tell you if your car is charging. You can also set the, the limit of the car. That's kind of nice. Nice uh, user experience there. And you can also open the charge port. Now, I think this might be a brand new option from the mobile app. Some of the other Tesla owners, feel free and add your comments here below to confirm this one. But I think this is a, that's a new option to open the charge port. You've also got the location. And if you tap on location, it's going to show you a map of where the car is located. And... It'll also tell you what uh, type of car you have and then how many miles on it. And then below that, 
It'll also show you the VIN number and the version of the uh, software that the car has installed. So that's a real nice overview of version 3.0 of the Tesla mobile app on the iPhone. If you have any questions or comments, feel free and put them down below. And as always, feel free and hit the subscribe button. See you on the next video.